So recently, the Mob Entertainment Company has been dealing with a lot with their upcoming game. A huge amount of drama and problems that are said to be having a big impact on the future of their games as well, from what we saw originally in our first post on the situation. In reference to Poppy Playtime changing in a big way, yes, because three important Mob Entertainment employees actually ended up leaving the company, some of which were actually said to have a big impact on how the games were made previously in the first place, it turns out. And we were finally given more information on how this huge drama was meant to affect Chapter 3, based on Mob Entertainment's official response to the situation. Those in question were revealed to be part of the core development team, it turns out, Micah and Jeremy Prashado, plus the developer Andy Gill. While the parties involved have shared their reasonings for leaving via X, it's still a cause for some concern amongst the Poppy Playtime community. So the actual drama portion of what's been going on connects to what these core members ended up telling us. I wanted to let you guys know that I've decided to leave Mob Game Studios due largely to different opinions on how the company should be managed, pointing to internal issues with the company that may spell out problems with projects the company is meant to be working on. The team member of the company went on to say, so what's next? Well, Micah and I are returning to independently making animations and music videos for Zamination, and they're meant to have exciting projects in the works coming very soon. Meaning with everything officially released from the developers, we're able to pinpoint how exactly chapter three, for starters, will be impacted by these key employees being taken off the project before we were clued into the possibility that things would be changing forever. And we're told that both Micah and Zachary ended up initially voicing some of the previous chapter's characters, including voicing Bunzo Bunny and Boogie Bot, while Micah lends his expressions to the cutouts of Braun and PJ Pogapillar. These already introduced characters to this series would, for starters, have to be slightly altered. We know the impact of these employees leaving doesn't end there, as they make up a good portion of the creative team behind the game specifically. They had planned a lot of the character concepts and technical work that went along with designing the new chapters of Poppy Playtime we've seen so far, meaning in the future this process of dropping new character designs might be slightly different from before. And also this means in the case of Chapter 3 specifically, we may end up seeing a slightly different end result than what was originally in the works. We know because going back to our earlier leaks, one of the developers working on the project to let us know that there was still last minute tweaks and edits to the actual design that they needed to take care of. Some of the official characters shown in our previous gameplay trailer are supposed to be slightly edited. But other than that, we're also clued into what these developers leaving spells out for the future projects as well. Specifically what we're told about chapter four. So we already know that the story isn't meant to be over after this upcoming project comes out. Behind the scenes information on the topic tells us that the overarching story of Poppy Playtime in the future shouldn't suffer too greatly from the loss of these developers after all. The reason we're meant to be so confident about it going forwards is that thanks to our Poppy Playtime interview with the Mob Entertainment CEO and CCO Zach and Seth Bellinger themselves, confirming that the developers have already finalized Poppy Playtime's lore. Essentially how many games there were meant to be total and how the story element of all the chapters fully wraps up at the very end. This would include everything we're meant to be experiencing with the prototype character and Poppy for the most part, as those were the main characters key to the storyline that spell out what we're going to be seeing here. Fans gave us more insight on these recent issues as well, asking, is chapter 4 even going to be a reality following the loss of some of these main developers behind the game? To which we see, yeah. He just won't be there because they already planned out concepts for the game, at least. And it turns out alongside the drama tying into this third chapter of the game, we also have secret character confirmations behind the scenes that tell us exactly what's meant to be making an appearance in the game. Our new information started with fans bringing up the concept of the fan-loved original characters to be added in the upcoming chapter along with everything else to developers, namely Sweet Sheep, meant to be the dedicated original character designed for the YouTuber Sheep Rampage, because this specific character was actually designed by the same creator who made the Smiling Critters VHS in the first place. It was originally made into a Smiling Critters themed new character, 
that many fans were hoping to see make an appearance as a small Easter egg at the very least. A poster or sign depiction we'd see in Deep Sleep as a tribute to the Poppy Playtime YouTuber. As it turns out, developers finally responded officially to the idea as a fan asked, yeah, we want Sweet Sheep, Toby, to which we see the response of, if we add Sweet Sheep, we need to add other OCs too, and we can't. Making the point that they'd have to accommodate for other people's designs as well, they were meant to add Sweet Sheep in the first place, meaning the movement around the character being added isn't going to end up working out, it seems. We're also given another update on one of the other Smiling Critters' role in this upcoming game, so we have more of a confirmation from developers of the depiction of Picky Piggy. One of the more I touched upon characters introduced from the VHS, we didn't have much info on. But we know recently developers have given us the big clue of You Will Regret Your Name, directed at a fan called Piggy Piggy's mother. Overall, this means it's not looking good for this character down the line at Chapter 3's release, because Piggy Piggy may not end up making it out alive. Recently, our update on what we've been told connects to the main developer again telling us we don't talk about that one, following someone trying to bring up the character. Another mysterious and its direction cluing us into what could potentially go wrong with it. But it turns out alongside our drama, we're also clued into a huge secret the development team laid out for us for Chapter 3. The fact we're told of a strange mysterious easter egg actually meant to clue us into what we're going to be seeing for Chapter 3 in the first place. So it turns out they left this special finding in one of the previous chapters of the game. This of course sparked a massive search for what this hidden clue was meant to tell us about the game, when we finally found out that it may even have a connection to the main villain of the game. The easter egg ended up being found in the first chapter of Poppy Playtime, as a specific scene near the ending ended up having something to do with what we originally saw in the Smiling Critters VHS. Started with the strange messages we saw in the vents during the chapter one Huggy Wuggy chase scene, as the character description for some of the characters actually matches the ability to be writing messages in paint and to be making these messages a whole plethora of different colors in the first place. It all matched up to help clear up who our allies and enemies were actually meant to be going into this new installment as we're told to be looking out for both evil and helper toys along the way here. And it turns out we're able to put together all these findings to figure out what the developers wanted us to know behind the scenes. So I put together all the information we're given to give you the full story behind the game in this video right here. If you want to know more about the Easter eggs, make sure to check it out.